All right, Julia, do you want to start? And I'll get those questions here in just a second. Okay, perfect. Okay, you guys. Well, let's see here. I got to get to my my list. So we've been talking about the um, slim down challenge, and I don't know. Some of you may be fully aware of this, some of you may not, but the company is doing a big slim down challenge. So basically what it is, is you get whatever packet it is that you want to utilize as your slim down products, you're going to utilize those. And then you have from, when did we say the start date was, Cassie? It's the beginning of May? Yeah, May 8th. May 8th to June 4th to be able to track your progress utilizing the Plexus Pivotal community. You would take pictures of your before and then of your after and whoever is able to um, have the most progress by the fourth actually have the possibility of, well, winning some prizes from Plexus, but also getting recognized at convention, which is really cool. Um, but what we want to do is to try to get this to be something that is um, available to uh, Michelle. You're wigging me out with being on here twice. <laughs> I keep looking, going, is it the same Michelle? <laughs> I'm just making sure. I don't, I don't know how to do that and use one at a time. To... <laughs> That's, That's so funny. <laughs> Well, I saw it and then I was like, I'm pretty, that's the same person. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I got distracted people. Um, so anyways, so you have that time frame. So what we're going to do is, you know how we normally do our monthly reset or our monthly like group challenge at the beginning of the month, we're actually going to move those dates and we're going to tie that in to the beginning of the month from a Thursday, Friday, Saturday so that anyone who wants to do the reset to try to get the most out of their experience will have their results by the fourth, which is the end, which is when you have to turn in your results to the Plexus Pivotal community, okay? So the reset, so if you have paper and pen, write these dates down, we're gonna do the reset this month if you're doing it. Now, again, keep in mind, you don't have to do it, okay? You don't have to do the reset. But if you're advertising it for your friends and family and they want to come alongside and do this as a group challenge with all of us, if they want to do the reset, we're going to do the group reset um, encouragement side of it on the first, second, and the third. And as opposed to getting them in so you know how in the past we have done um the group pages right we've done the reset group page so instead of doing that we're going to actually put all of our people that want to do that challenge we're going to connect them into the plexus pivotal community so and then we're going to have a messenger group to attach them to to be able to encourage and kind of banter back and forth with all of us so we'll have a different thread instead of an actual page. So it won't be as big of a deal to do like the page side. We're just going to really be encouraging everybody to take part in that Plexus Pivotal community. And fun things that we're going to offer is we're going to offer three different giveaways. One of them is going to be whoever's most engaged in our thread. Okay. So whoever does the most engaging during those um whatever that time frame is so we're gonna start it we can start it even tomorrow right i mean we could basically start the thread tomorrow and then any of your people who want to come in and be involved in that community challenge can be put into that thread so like tyra you have Nell who signed up uh like a week or so ago and i know she's getting ready to start her products this coming week her and i talked a little bit today and so you can, we can ask her permission. That's one thing you want to do. Anybody who gets their stuff, you want to make sure to ask them permission before we go putting them in a bunch of threads, okay? Because obviously, if that's going to overwhelm them, we don't want that to do that. But if it's something that could be encouraging for them, we could put her into that thread so that she could have that daily encouragement. So we're going to be giving away a gift for somebody, whoever's the most involved. So whoever's doing the most chatting, 
putting in their information, um, kind of encouraging one another. Um, the second one is going to be, we're going to do our own little community prize for whoever does the most waste, weight loss. Okay. So whoever does the most weight loss, will get another, we'll get a gift. And then the third one is whoever completes the most pivotal workouts. So mm -hmm. you will have to, what I would probably suggest doing the easiest is taking a picture or screenshotting if you do it on your phone the completion check boxes you when you get onto your pivotal experience okay when you get onto that and you go through your workouts you have to check the boxes when you finish them so as you finish those i would screenshot those or take a picture of them if they're on your main computer and then put them in the thread so that we can keep track of whoever's completing those workouts so that we know you're getting your activity in. You know, we're talking about, we're gonna talk about hydration and, you know, being kind to our bodies with what we put in them and all those fun things. Um, so, but those are three things that we're just gonna do for our specific community. Cassie, did I leave? No, no I don't think so. Okay, so let's recap. Does anybody know when we're going to official, I mean, you can, we're officially starting now, but, People need to order if they want to join and do this with us by what date? Did you cover that? I don't think so. We, they need to order by the 24th to be able to be, to be able to still participate in the group challenge. They have to order by the 24th to get their products back. Correct. So that gives them a week and a day. So next Wednesday, not tomorrow, but next Wednesday. So every single person that's giving, that's giving you a week and one day to literally add every single person you can that wants to join this slim down challenge with us. And it's going to be so much fun because this is where people start leaning into weight loss or getting reset it, all of this. Like it's a perfect time for this, as well as we'll be doing the reset right after Memorial Day weekend. And so people, you know, we're going to want to reset after that, right? So then that's when that three-day reset will start. So we want them to start their products, whatever they're getting ahead of time. So like Triplex or um, Metaburn and Lean or whatever combo they decide, they're going to start on that first. And then we're going to end with the reset. And so that's where we're going to um, promote that and do that. So we have a week and a day for people to order, which is plenty of time. We just need to promote. I'm going to pop some graphics in our threads that Plexus has already created, and we'll just add dates or whatever to it. Um, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. So when we talk about they have a week and a day to get their products back, that's basically if they want to do the reset, because if they get their products back and they want to do the reset, we'll start on the on the first. Um, but if they get their products back and they just want to do products, they can still participate as soon as they get their products. They don't have to do the reset, Correct. but they can still be in that thread. That thread's going to give them a couple different things. It's going to give them just general encouragement for when they start their products. It's also a great connection for them to be able to ask questions um, when they're experiencing any types of changes in their body with their products. So that, that thread will be super handy for anybody, honestly. I mean, think of our chats now, those threads are really powerful and that's what we want. We want people to feel like they have accountability, community, all of that inside of that chat. So they're going to be a part of the bigger Plexus Pivotal Facebook page and there's great recipes and things like that. So in the smaller chat, we'll be like, oh my gosh, did you see the oatmeal that they posted today? Who's ready to try that? You know, or, oh, who saw that blah, blah, blah. So that's what that thread is going to be. So again, um, nobody has to order the reset, but that's when we'll be providing even more information towards the end of the month for that. So the biggest thing is have people order whatever combo pack works for their goals by the 24th. So you have a week and one day for that. Does that make sense, everybody? Do you have any questions on that? No. Okay. And then we're going to be doing three giveaways. The most active in our chat. This is all in our chat. The most active, encouraging, any of that in our chat. The person that lost the most weight loss. Because again, it's summer slim down. We want to tie into the theme. Um, and then the other. So the nice thing is that we're giving people prizes for everything. Because some people might not even want to lose that much weight. But I don't want to not give somebody a prize if they're the most active or things like that. Like they just want to be there, which is amazing. So then again, like 
uh, Julia said, the most pivotal workouts. And so we have two other options if people are like, well, I just want to lose like four or five pounds. Okay, awesome. Then maybe you might not have the most weight loss prize, but you could have these other two prizes you could earn. So. Everybody got that? No questions? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. Um, okay. So everybody, I want to go around and tell me something that you took as a win this week. Okay. A win within your business, a win within your personal growth, a win within um, something that you did for yourself this week that was something that maybe you've been putting off. I'd love to hear some of those. Who wants to go first? Don't everybody rush, you know what I mean? I was going to say, or I can start naming names. <laughs> I will. Okay, Michelle. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is just the most recent thing that happened. I had um, a friend who has been asking a lot of questions and was interested in getting a combo welcome pack for her daughter. And so she just reached out to me tonight and she had some questions and I can tell that, um, in fact, I said to my husband, I feel like I've learned so much because go back a couple of months and I would not have been able to have answered a lot of her questions. Mm. I would have, you know, and not that reaching out to someone is bad. I don't mean that, but um, no. I just noticed more confidence in myself and being able to help her and kind of walk her through all that. And so she, the mom has been on it for, I don't know, she's, she might be starting her second month, but then she got her daughter in it as well. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That is awesome. I'm so proud of you, girly. And I can really tell number one, I just want to bring attention to, uh, the thinness of your face. I can tell you have continued like with your weight loss. <laughs> I know that you Thank talked you. a little bit about that, but I can see it in your face. So I just was Thank noticing you. that when you were talking. <laughs> that came at a good time. One of those times where I've been emotional eating. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you. You're here. You're welcome. <laughs> Keep up the good work, sister. But that's super awesome. I am so proud of you. And you know what, Michelle? I really think that really ties in to how much you've really dove in and, and educated yourself and taken every opportunity you, you really have to ask questions. I know you've been in multiple chats with me and Cassie. So you are, I'm super proud of you um, with just how much you've really dove in. I'm, I, it's incredible to watch. So thank you. I yeah, appreciate that. You are so welcome. All right. Emily, how about you go? Okay. Can you hear me? I can. Nope. Oh. Okay, great. Um, let's see. So I have trouble talking to people about the products who maybe haven't had as great of an experience as I have. That's hard because I want everybody to be as impressed with them as I am. So I had a long conversation with a coworker who has tried the products in the past and kind of given up on them. And um, so we kind of talked about talked about them, maybe taking them at a different time or, or maybe giving them, them another shot. And I just, I really felt like I walked away. I don't know what will come of that or whatever. <laughs> In the past, that would have been, it was difficult, but I, I felt like I did better than I would have done, you know, because, you know, some people have different, you know, different experiences with it. So anyway, I don't I know am. what will happen with it. But like I said, when it's interesting to me when I, and I, and I started the conversation, I said, Hey, you know, how are, are you still doing your plexus? How's that going? So I am um, so proud of you, Emily. That's, that is a lot. Right. I know that's a lot for you. That's for me. That's for me is a lot. So that is, that's incredible. That shows a lot of personal growth within yourself. And I, I, not only that, but also you've learned more about the stuff and that sort of thing, but I know how much better you are feeling off of it. That's incredible. I'm so I'm proud of you. Been looking at some pictures of myself from two years ago, 
before my cancer journey and before chemo. And like you're talking about your face looking different. My face looks very different than it did. Um, I actually, if I think if I'm looking at pictures, I actually think I look healthier now than I did then, which is kind of mind blowing considering the in-between part of that sandwich. That's so, so true. Yeah. And, my, awesome. um, and my patient, my husband the other day was, was totally blown. He was like, there's no way you're not like 38 or something. And I'm like, uh, no, you're only 15 years wrong. And um, he was, he really kissed me. He's like, okay, so what year were you born? I mean, I was, <laughs> and I know he was probably playing around, but it did make me feel good. So that's awesome. Small vanities, right? That's right. But, um, I still can it. It. <laughs> figure out pivotal to get to the workouts and all and the food and stuff. I find it sometimes, but I, I guess it must be coming at it. Is there a way to get to it from like an app on your phone? Or There's how not an app. To pivotal? You have to use your back office or your, your website. I will create, here's what I'll do for those of you who are on my team. I'll create a screen share. And I can send it to you on how to do that. And I can even send it to you, Cassie, and you can send it out to everybody else too. So, okay. but um, I'll create a screen share so that you can see how to get there from your website and I'll send it out. Okay. Sound just, good? I find it and find it again. <laughs> and yes. I want to be consistent, but yeah. anyway. Nope, I get that. And so, yeah, so that's my victory for the week. That's incredible, girl. to uh to a, a lesson, so but we, so we, did, we had some good talk. We had some good, not good. So that's, that's what I awesome. did. I will say, you guys, don't forget with your pivotal community stuff with your um, workouts. When you complete those, you also get points to go towards your perks. So you're earning free product when you do workouts. The best way to earn free product, people, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So it is on top of what you're getting monthly with your sub orders. So it's pretty cool. So just a heads up on that if you did not know that. Okay. Question. I'm gonna, yeah. Does that count like, is it only your first 12 weeks? Or if you re-sign for that, it keeps, it keeps going? Nice. It keeps going. Yeah. But okay. here's the deal. People have to have their subs on and they also have to have at least a hundred PV in their order. So it's not a hundred dollars because they can yeah. have $98 or they can have like, I think it's like $101 worth of stuff and it's 98 PV. So it has to be a hundred PV in their orders Okay. and they have to order monthly or at least like, I think they can push it off one month if they needed to, or, or move their dates by one month. But if they do more than that, then they lose their perks. So those are kind of the stipulations that go with that. Did I get that right, Cassie? Did I miss anything? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're no, welcome. I mean, literally, if you go in there, you guys, every, every week, just keep checking it after the 12 weeks, you do it again. And then you get more perks like every single time. It's so great. And they change them up in the 12 weeks too, I have noticed. So I will also say for those of you who have been on it in the past, I made a suggestion on the Pivotal community that they put some suggestions for um, lower level starters in there because some of their stuff was kind of high level to be quite honest. I mean, I've done different workout classes before where I have taught people who are at completely different levels and they never really had different level of showing you how to do things. And they've started doing that. The last couple of times I've done the pivotal workouts, they've said, if you are at a lower level, you're going to want to stay here. Or if you're at a higher level, you're going to do this. So they've, they've adjusted some of that too. So if any of you have experienced that, um, okay, we're going to move on here. Let's go to Sarah. Are you able to talk? just got on so I don't know what's going on <laughs> you're totally fine I'm doing my we're doing, we're doing wins for the week so just something that oh. you did that you were proud of this week oh. and it can be it can be plexus related it can be personal growth related oh 
I, know I you reached out to well. a friend. I don't know. <laughs> There so no- it, that's huge because at first she was like, I don't want to reach out to nobody that I'm not, I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be that girl. You guys, she reached out to somebody. So that's huge. Incredible. Good for you for doing this all to yourself. You have a huge gift to give my friend. That's awesome. Proud of you, Sarah. Good work. Okay. <laughs> let's see here. I'm going to go to Becky. What about you, Miss Becky? <laughs> going in a circle. I don't know if you guys have the same circle, but okay. Hey, at least you know that it's muted. You didn't start talking. Okay. There you go. Um, I would say I have a couple of them. Um, I did, um, I've talked to a few people that Julia knows that um, I am trying to get to come to our boards um, on Saturday, Um, but we'll see how that goes. But the other one is, is um, a personal growth is I made it through Mother's Day. Yeah. So proud of you, my friend. So (laughs) proud of you. Good for you. What did you do for yourself on Mother's Day? Um, I actually went and ate, uh, I went and <laughs> ate at Red Robin <laughs> well with deserved. my sister, um, but I went with the lettuce wrap cheeseburger and, but what I did, you? I went with the sweet potato fries. This weakness. girl's got goals, people. Weakness. Well done. Hey, Becky. you swapped one good for, you know what I mean? It's all about exactly. it. Good. Exactly. Yeah. And then. I am down to 233 from 257. I was just about to say, st- tell us your start. That is huge. And then how long? It's two months. Look at you. I am so proud of you. You that guys, is incredible. that is a post all of you guys can share because you all know Rebecca. And if not, you know her now. Like, girl, <laughs> Rebecca, you have to share that and be like, hashtag didn't know it could be this, you know, wonderful. I mean, make it simple, make a post simple. I think we overcomplicate something and just share a picture of yourself or however, I mean, that's, you could even put it with a colorful background, honestly. I mean, sometimes those that have the colorful background that just have like a few words is like more powerful because people just look at it as like a bam. And honestly, I just saw Michelle and it gave me the idea and she probably is doing it, but you guys can take a picture of this and say, I just heard of a teammate saying she lost X, you know, X, Y, Z. I cannot believe all the incredible testimonies that I keep hearing. Yes. Something to that nature. Yep. And feel free, you guys, as you're, as we're chatting, take a picture of our group, post on it, brag on our group, because this is what we want to do. It's not that we're bragging, but you're you're opening an opportunity and welcoming people into a community that is priceless. And that's what I absolutely love about this group. It's just heart touching to me. So I'm proud of you, Becky. Good job. So proud. Can she, can she share her weight loss numbers again? Or like the total? Uh Uh-huh. I was 257, um, March the, I can't remember. It was two months ago. Um, and then I am at 233 as of yesterday morning. That my is goal, awesome. My goal is to be at 220 before I go on vacation, June the 10th. So this uh, little thing reset. we're doing, the reset thing is probably going to get me to my goal. So what? See, and that's a great post. Like, okay, guys, I have this goal. I have this mm-hmm. deadline. Who wants to join me and needs that extra push of a deadline? Like, yeah. let's go. You know what Accountability, I mean? Accountability, mm-hmm. all, all the things. That's awesome. I mean, Gosh. I have a, I have an accountability person for the business. Like we check in daily. So could you imagine this is exactly that, but with weight loss, with encouragement, with all of that, like, Hey, who needs daily check-ins to make sure you're not falling apart? So, yeah. Awesome. Good job, girl. Okay. All right, Miss Tyra. How about you? I'm coming around to you, sister. Okay. So 
my life has been really stressful lately. I uh, work with children. And the child that I had the Z just really gave me the blues, kind of stressed me out while I was fasting. Uh, <laughs> all, all these toxins rolling through my body, and then I got a kid that is running away every day. Oh, so gosh, girl. I went and got two massages, you know, to help push toxins through. I have been drinking my water and staying on my program good for so you I, look at you i can't see me i look a little i look a lot thinner i'm even putting makeup on i, I just love, love it you are I beautiful my really friend good. i Thank love you. it i feel really good i have to yes. say that i am I trying do. to think of uh, another way to share the product with people that are not so you know not as overweight as i am you know yeah. it, i want yeah. to share with them that it's about gut health and you don't have to be overweight to use right. the product right so i i got some work to do but i'm working you I, number one i'm proud of you for taking time for yourself and knowing different things that can help you while you're stressed so good yeah. for you that is incredible and i can definitely tell I I wasn't clear on if the headache, the headaches that I was coming from was from not having sugar <laughs> or was it because I did the reset? Not quite sure. I was just getting the headaches, headaches, headaches. But as I flush and detox, the headaches are gone. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. I was going to say, I stuff. feel like headache is a very common detox symptom. Yeah. So I had it for like two weeks whenever I first started on the product. So, but I'm proud of you, girl. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. So proud. That's incredible. Okay. All right, Sam, are you available? Hi. <laughs> okay. Coming. Coming. There yeah, I'm available. Okay. What's okay. So I don't feel like I have any type of business wins. So um, I have some personal wins in the gym um, of just increasing weight. So good for you. Do. I do think you have some business wins. Have you not been connecting some people in three ways? And I mean, I did one. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's a business win. That's a new thing for you. So that's good. That's a good thing. And I plan on touching base with her probably tomorrow and give her time to read through that. So. And think and about this way. When you go to the gym, we all don't see results right away, right? Like it takes mm -hmm. time. And I think we don't give ourselves enough, enough credit for the small things that we do to walk ourselves into the gym, to check in, to go to the actual weights, and like figure out how to use it and then put it on your back and figure out how to do a squat. Maybe you've never done it, but you're actually trying like those things. Mm -hmm. I think we take for granted all the steps we've taken our taken up until that moment. And so that's where you're at. You're, you're taking all these steps. And then one day that squat's going to, in that form and everything is just going to be like incredible. Um, so focus on those things, not the negative because the negative is what Satan wants you to do. Right. Net negative is where he wants to be like, ah, good things are coming. So I don't want you to see it. I don't want you seeing this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I had messaged Julia, but so I do, I take part of our local supplement store does a transformation challenge and you can join it and whatever. So I did it from January to March. I got fourth place. Um, so I missed the top three big prizes, but I got fourth place, fourth place girl. I'm doing it again, nice. but from March to Saturday. Oh, okay. I lost three pounds of body fat, gained three pounds of muscle. So you. that's awesome, Sam. Yep. Good for you. That's Thanks. incredible. I love that. I love All it. that muscle burning, that fat girl. That's right. <laughs> Music in my ears. That's right. All right, you guys. Okay, so I don't know if all of you got a chance to listen to that call tonight. 
I put the link in our thread. If you guys are in our Wichita thread, if you are not, then Cassie, I think we'll probably share it in our other threads. Um, but if you did not have a chance to listen tonight, go and listen sometime this week. I mean, listen to the podcast and listen to the call because they're both very filling of your cup. They're very encouraging. They give you some great takeaways and things to really think about and to apply not only just to your business, but also to your daily lives. So I want to do is um, give you the questions that she asked and I want you guys to write them down and be kind of processing them this week, okay? So do you guys have a piece of paper or something you can write these on? Okay. Give me a minute to grab paper. Paper is good. If not, just type it in the notes on your phone if you don't have anything close by. But paper is huge because when you actually physically write something down, not electronically, it's 85% more likely to actually happen. You are you also remember it as well. So yeah, your brain holds it differently. And this okay. is why this is why writing down goals is so important too. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And saying them out loud are really, really important. All the tricks to your brain. Okay, so this question, I'm gonna throw out to you. Here it goes. What is something that you can start tomorrow? Write it down, confide in it with somebody who's gonna hold you accountable to it, whether it be me, whether it be Cassie, whether it be one of your best friends, find somebody who will help hold you accountable. If it's somebody that's working the business with you, utilize that sideline, whatever it is. Somebody who's maybe not on your team, but you know is a good friend. So what is something that you can start tomorrow? And then I want you to list three things that you have already followed through on. And they could be anything from any time. Because what happens is whenever we remember the things that we've done in the past that used to be hard or something that we maybe didn't think we can do, but we did, it's a good reminder to our brains that we can do hard things and that we're not going to die. Okay. <laughs> Got to remind that primitive brain that just because something's scary doesn't mean you're going to die from it. So I want you to write down three things and you don't have to write them down right now. But write down that you're going to write down three things that you've already done that were hard to remind you that you can do hard things. The next question, try to make sure everybody's, nobody's like, wait, wait. <laughs> the next question is, what do you talk about? How are you going to be sharing something that you know about that can help other people, okay? Be intentional about what you're sharing. So you're thinking things about um, things you do with your time. Like for example, Sam. Sam's amazing at her posting with her workouts. Um, there are people that are great with posting different recipes. I like to post about my garden like different things that are intentional that can put intentionality into other people's lives that they can learn from. Um, content that you consume, things that you listen to, like for example, on our Wichita thread, I shared the um, sermon that just spoke to my heart this weekend that was incredible. Like things that you are, that it's, you know, that you're listening to, whether it be music, whether it be videos, um, different encouraging words. Sam shared one on our thread the other day about like a motivational speech, like things that are feeding you that you can think that would feed other people. Um, questions that you can ask other people just to get them engaged and to talk to them about things that maybe could, you could learn from, okay? And then um, who are the people in your circle? Who are the people in your circle and what do they like? What is something that um, they want to learn from? Stuff that you can post that you know the people in your circle can benefit from. Plexus has some really, really great training calls, whether it be on our team calls 
or whether it be through Plexus corporate, um, they have some really good training calls. So if you guys are just in the mode of wanting to learn more about the company and about the products, listen to those. They have multiple calls on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. One of them is called Wellness Wednesday, and they share about specific products and why those products are good, um, education about the products. And then, of course, they have the Welcome to Plexus call on Wednesday, which goes over different testimonies and also goes over product information. So the company really tries their best to give us opportunities to educate ourselves. And then the last question I'm going to have you guys write down is, are you doing something every day outside of your comfort zone? Because that is how we grow. That is something that was not something, I, well, how do I want to say this? That was something that whenever I first started doing my coaching stuff, it was amazing to me how much information they gave that was exactly the same thing that you guys are getting on all of our coaching calls that we do every week. You guys, I paid a lot of money for those, for that education, which is great. I'm grateful for it. It has other stuff that goes into my nursing stuff and that's great. But some of the coaching is, I, I kid you not, almost identical to what you're getting on these calls and it's worth thousands of dollars. Okay, so take that into consideration. If you are pushing yourself to grow, that means you're constantly in a state of doing something that's uncomfortable because that's how we grow. We grow by doing things that are uncomfortable. It, again, goes back to the whole idea of teaching your mind that just because something's uncomfortable doesn't mean you're going to die doing it. Okay, we do seriously have a natural tendency to talk ourselves out of things when things are uncomfortable. Try it. Try it sometime. You can come up with a thousand different excuses as to why you can't do something that's not going to kill you and honestly could actually be helping somebody, but your brain tries to talk you out of it because it's uncomfortable. When you get to a point where you are able to push past that thought process and start pushing in and leaning into that discomfort, you will find yourself growing in ways you never thought. So, okay. Let me see here. Lastly, because I don't want to keep you guys much longer. I know some of you have to get up in the morning. I want you guys, you can even do it in the chat if you'd rather do it in the chat. Um, or if you want to unmute and speak it into motion, I would like to know of one thing that you're going to do tonight before you go to bed that is going to grow you, your business, or your team. One of the three. So come up with one thing that you can do tonight that you're going to implement, implement, implement. That's the word I'm going for. <laughs> implement. Mine is I have three additional people. I have a goal to reach out to five people a day um, about my coaching. And so I have three additional people that I still have to reach out to. So I'm going to be doing those tonight before I go to bed. Who else? Um, I think, I'm not sure if this counts. I'm going to, I want to reach out to the mom and daughter that I have spent time with tonight and make sure that they are plugged into Plexus Pivotal because they have, you have to sign up for that separately, right? Like it's right. included. You have to register for it. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And that right. absolutely counts because that's part of your customer care. So good job, Michelle. Awesome. Okay. And you guys, one of the sheets that are my favorite are called the winning day sheet. And if you need like a checklist, those are my favorite to like go through and be like, and you have to start from that sheet. You have to start from the top and work down because it works with the algorithm. And so when you're working from the first thing down, it like talks to Facebook and Instagram so that then people are seeing your posts, people are seeing your conversation and stuff like that. And so you're seen more. And if you start like at the bottom and stuff, it still works. It just won't work as well. And so that winning day sheet is great because you can really tackle a lot of things in a short amount of time. 
and it breaks it up all into time frames, which is my favorite part. Makes it feel a lot less overwhelming. All right, you guys. We should all take a picture and smile. Make sure that they put it. Let's do it. Everybody smile. I smile too. Ready? Perfect. Good job, ladies. Yep. Okay. I know I have gone. I know Michelle has gone. I still have five other people on here who have not gone, but you can put it in the chat. <laughs> One thing. That's it. A non-negotiable something. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be anything that takes up your time. It could even be scheduling your day out tomorrow. I would say mine is I am going to um, try to do watch some kind of motivational um, tonight before going to bed because I know that's also good um, when you go to sleep to have that fresh on your mind because then everything else um, as you wake up in the morning it, it's right there. Awesome. I love that, Becky. That's a great idea. I may have to implement that. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. I'm going to have to implement, well, I'm saying implement the um, workout. You know, I have not been working out. Okay. I, I was I have the energy and any the time, but I'm gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna make myself more uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm proud of you, my yeah. friend. And, and talk to a couple more people. Awesome. You know, men, um, talking to men, mostly men are running around here with, with uh, I, I, you know, I see so many people, men have the, the stomachs, the guts, and they yes. usually think when I'm talking about the, pro you know, this product, I'm speaking just about something for women. Yeah. So they do. I'm just men. learning my product and what I'm using. So uh, what am I saying? Work out and education educate myself some more. That's awesome. my I love it. I'll try to connect you with some good education material too that might be helpful. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome girl. I'm proud of you, Tyra. And I think Emily said that she's gonna get into Plexus Pivotal. She's gonna figure it out. We're gonna get you there. I'll help you. <laughs> and I've seen people even make a shortcut to save it to their phone as like an app. Like it looks like an app. It's just a bookmark on your phone. Mm -hmm. So you can do that too. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. But I have a feeling, you know, at convention, they might be sharing that it'll be coming into an app. So I'm not for sure. Fingers crossed. Cause that would be transformative. <laughs> All right, Miss Sarah, do you want to speak anything into motion, my friend? <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy feeling my, my son move around my belly. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> so I'm slightly distracted. <laughs> You're good. Uh, uh, I, Cassie... <laughs> Get with me sometime. Tomorrow is a horrible day because I've got, I'm doing my um, my glucose test tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So maybe like Thursday. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Uh, Thursday, maybe I can get with you to figure out a message to my friend on how to follow up with her because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So hey, that'll be something I, can, I can't do tonight. But hey, I can even just, you know, do that tonight and then you check into it later. But also, if you look into glucose stuff for taking the drink and everything, there's a lot of ways that you can take our pink drink for it as well. So mm. I wish I asked my asked my doctor about it uh, at my last appointment. She's like, yeah, you have to take whatever they give you there. I'm like, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, they're kind of tricky that way. They are. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do it, but I'm well, like, hey, mm. the one thing that you can move the needle is keep inviting for the blends party on Sunday. Oh, that's good info for all of you, too. Mm -hmm. Keep forgetting to doing that. 
post that. Yep. Cassie's yours is on Sunday in yep. Springfield. Yep. In Wichita, we have our boards and blends party on Saturday morning. So I hope to be able to see all of your beautiful faces there. It's going to be really fun. I'm super pumped for it. And bring all of your people. It's going to be a good time. Make and a challenge. Like make boards, man. Exactly. And make a challenge to yourself to like, don't come without one person. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. Bring one person to that event because that has seeing, seeing our community in person and then also seeing and hearing the testimonies and having fun. That is key. They, you know, I think a lot of people are missing out on that. So have a challenge, challenge yourself. Like I want to bring one to two people. Like I am not coming unless I have blah, blah, blah. So, and I'm proud, Michelle, you living in Iowa. In She's your, doing her own. Is it Iowa, Indiana? Indian. Illinois. You're close. Illinois. <laughs> Keep going with the eyes. Oh my goodness. It's one of those I states. <laughs> In Illinois. And you're going to be hosting your own. She is. Yes. And I'm excited because I've had more people ask questions and yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited for it. People love the in-person events. I am so pumped for you. So pumped. That's Thank exciting. You. Me too. All right, guys. Well, that is all I have for you guys tonight. Cassie, do you have anything additional? That's right, it. I'm going to pray and um, let you guys go to bed and just allow God to fill your spirits that way. So, mm -hmm. all right. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for every single one of these ladies that took the time to be um, in your presence tonight and with us, Lord God, in community. And I just ask that you continue to bless them as they go throughout the rest of their week. Bless them personally, bless their businesses, bless their families, Lord God, um, take care of them, guide and direct them, Lord God, put those heavy on their hearts that you um, are calling them to reach out to, Lord God, to share the blessing of what Plexus has given to us with other people. And I just am so grateful for each and every one of these um, ladies on our team and thankful for Kath and her incredible leadership and continue well and just, uh, be with us as we go about our week. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Good night, Bye, my everybody. friend. We'll see you Bye, um, everyone. Thursday, Cassie. Mm -hmm. Thursday we'll for ambassador training Thursday. Yep. New ambassador okay. training. Awesome. All right, you guys. Bye, guys. See you later.